Hello to all and welcome on the Watches TV and today we're going to talk about the new MBNF HM10 Bulldog, a timepiece belonging to the horological machine family of watches, meaning slightly more audacious or let's say original type of uh, time telling machines. So we knew we would be in for a surprising uh, design and the HM10 I mean stands firm to this principle. It's for sure unique but at the same time it takes back some uh, design elements and other technical features seen on other MBNF watches. So there are some uh, common genes shared and I will come back to this in a moment. So the HM10 has been introduced in uh, two versions, a grade 5 uh, titanium case one, the one I have in my hands, and a 5N red gold version. And this timepiece is not particularly small size. I mean, it's 54 uh, millimeter vertically, 45 millimeter in width, and the notion of height is quite relative uh, with this dome, but overall 24 millimeter. The overall design idea was naturally to make you think of a dog, a bulldog in particular, though some people may see uh, other animals or shapes. Uh, uh, it's a question of personal interpretation and imagination, but clearly, I mean, the really cool feature of this watch is the dog's mouth acting as the power reserve indicator. Mouth wide open and yawning a bit when the beast has been well fed, plenty of energy in the belly and gradually closing it during its 45 hours of running showing hunger again with its menacing jaws. But despite these uh, shining jaws, I still think it looks like a kind little doggy. So to feed the animal, well, you use the crown uh, found at the back of the case, a crown featuring this kind of uh, nail slash pyramid shape design found on some uh, dog collars or for people into other type of practices. And I won't go into details of those. So opposite of this uh, winding crown, well, you find a second one which lets you set the time. And this is where we start uh, with some of the parallels I was referring to. As you can see, these two hour and minute rotating aluminum, aluminum globes uh, we had, for instance, seen on some uh, prior versions of the HM3. And to read the time, well, it's simply by looking at the alignment with these uh, two small luminescent triangles. And on the titanium version, well, these globes, or should I say the eyes of the beast are blue. And on the red gold version, the eyes are black. And the hour and minute markings are also luminescent. So above these uh, globes, we, uh, well, we go slightly into legacy machine territory with this uh, iconic flying balance wheel, uh, the fuming and spinning brain of the animal, which is held in place by this uh, superb uh, balance bridge. So then we have uh, uh, movable lugs, which help the watch to sit firmly uh, on your wrist. And it's the first time that it's appropriate to tell to your watch to sit. Yes, sit now, little HM10. So yes, even with the distinctive identity, this HM10 is a nice little combination with some uh, nice twist. And one could also add a bit of uh, HMX uh, with these uh, slightly cut out parts uh, on the dial side. So let's flip the watch over. And on the back side, well, you also have a large sapphire opening letting you see part of this hand-worn movement and more details on this uh, super original power reserve mechanism. And obviously, it is a shaped movement. But you can also see this piece is rather amusing and great motto, forget the dog, beware of the owner, a motto which uh, should indeed define pretty well those that will wear the HM10. You are definitely different and we like different. And this is definitely a pretty different timepiece. So hats off for the daring move uh, to MBNF, but it's also what we expect from this ever creative brand. Creative, yes, but no shortcuts taken. Quality is always part of the brand's uh, fundamentals. Something easily exemplified by the very high-end finishing you can observe on this timepiece, whether on the case on, or all other mechanical components. So to summarize things, I mean, two versions, this uh, sportier uh, titanium version coming with this very comfortable uh, Velcro strap, and the other one, the more formal one, which comes with a more classical leather bracelet. And it does amuse me to use this word formal to describe this HM10. So these two watches don't seem to be limited, obviously limited by production capabilities. And I have to admit that I am really looking forward to hear what people think of it because as usual, and I know it will spark a bit of controversy. So this is it for today's video. I wish you all the very best. Stay safe and positive and viva waf waf watchmaking. See you real soon. Bye.
Ruff, ruff. Yeah, well, you know, they range sometimes. Sit. Bye.